Good morning and a very warm welcome. You are watching Janata Television and this is the English Bulletin with me, Sushant Dhaka. The top stories first. Prime Minister Oli, discharged from hospital, says he is fit despite undergoing dialysis. Attempt to reap case filed against Mahara, the former speaker can face jail sentence up to 8 years if convicted. FNCCI holds meeting with Nepal's ambassadors, seeks support from envoys to Spain and Australia. U.S. lawmakers secure enough votes against Trump, lower house set to pass impeachment rules. And England to face South Africa in Rugby World Cup final tomorrow, Wales and New Zealand vying for the third place. And now, the news in detail. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has been discharged from Grande International Hospital. I am fit, said Prime Minister Oli, as he left the hospital yesterday. Prime Minister Oli was discharged after undergoing dialysis for the second time yesterday. He was admitted to the hospital on Wednesday, after which he received an immediate dialysis. The hospital has informed that further treatment of Prime Minister Oli will be decided after the analysis of his blood test reports. An attempt to rape case has been registered against Krishna Bahadur Mahara, the former Speaker of the Federal Parliament, yesterday. Mahara has been charged with allegation of attempt to rape by Roshni Shahi, a medical practitioner at the Parliament Secretariat. The District Attorney's Office Kathmandu registered an attempt to rape case against Mahara at the Kathmandu District Court. Mahara has been charged under Section 219 of the Chapter of Rape of Criminal Code Act 2074. Mahara can face a jail sentence up to eight years if convicted. दाबी सहित को अभियुक्त पत्र दर्ता हो, आज समय को अब आपले थोंचे को कार्य संपन्न न होने की अवस्था देखी को होना, वहाँ लाइजे मानगरी प्रारी परिसर में आपले बोली जाए दस बजे उपस्थित कराऊंगे वेरी फिर तक रहेंगे। Mahara has been in custody since he was arrested 25 days ago. Three people were killed and several others injured after a bus met with an accident in Lopsifedi of Songharpur municipality in the northeastern outskirts of Kathmandu yesterday. The passenger bus belonging to Helambu Transportation with a registration number Ba 5 Ka 5070 that left Golfu Vonjang between Nuakot and Sindhupalchok district for Kathmandu had overturned near a temple in Lopsifedi, killing two women and a man. According to the police, there were at least 50 passengers travelling in the bus. The injured have been receiving treatment at Nepal Medical College, Jorpati and Sankharpur Hospital, police said. The Asian Development Bank, ADB, has approved a loan of $195 million to improve the highway section between Pokhara and Mugling, ADB said in a statement. The highway links Pokhara to Kathmandu and to sub-regional corridors connecting Nepal with India and Bangladesh. The highway will be widened to four lanes under a five-year project. This will reduce travel times, lower transportation cost and improve access to domestic markets, jobs and social services, the ADB wrote on its website on Wednesday. According to ADB's transport specialist, Johan Georgette, the upgraded highway will also open a wider gateway for Nepal to international markets, especially in India, the, and facilitate the arrivals of tourists to the region of Pokhara and its hinterland. ADB said that the roads are the predominant mode of transport in Nepal for more than 90% of goods and passengers, while the density and capacity of the road network remains low. 
The total cost of the project is $254 million, of which the government will provide $59 million. The project is due for completion at the end of 2025. This is Janata Bulletin. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back. After the break, we continue with other national news. Central Committee Member of Nepali Congress, Dr. Sekhar Koirala, has said the Koirala family is not the sole caretaker of Nepali Congress. Speaking with journalists at Ka Kawasoti of East Kapil Bastu on Thursday, Koirala said although Nepali Congress has always been led by the Koirala family during major political revolutions, it is still not a t caretaker of the grand old party. Although the party was the brainchild of late B.P. Koirala, he reiterated the need for unity within the party to make sure it survives in the long run. नेपाल को लोकतांत्रिक आंदोलन में सदै कोयला है तो अग्रणी भूमिका खेलने वाला खेलेगा सम तेज में कुने कुने आज आऊं दे ना रा हमेरू लोकतंत्र को लागी तीन टा कोयला है रू एक दिक्कत हूँ तेज में तो मारू ढूँका हूँ हमेर को कुरा कानी है रू दे इसा आईटी का को दिन पनी के कुरा कानी भाई वाला फिर � Koirala further said that the current majority government has been behaving in an autocratic way and it is imperative that the fundamental rights of freedom of expression cannot be attacked by anyone, not even the state. The World Cities Day was celebrated across the globe yesterday with the slogan Better City, Better Life. In 2013, the United Nations General Assembly decided through the Economic and Financial Committee to designate October 31st of every year beginning from 2014 as the World Cities Day. However, the problems caused by unplanned urbanization has created major issues worldwide including in Nepal. A report. The World Cities Day is celebrated worldwide to address the challenges of urbanization, to build cooperation between the cities and their governments and to extend support to developing cities around the globe. Nepal also celebrated the World Cities Day alongside World Habitat Day yesterday. The major problem in Nepal in relation to urbanization is the solid waste management. <laughs> हमी ले गए एक ठाउ में रखने की ही चाहे लैंडफिल साइड बैठा चाहे की ही कलेक्ट करे रहा आओ नहीं तरह त्यों चाहे हंड्रेड परसेंट चाहे त्यों रीयूज होने वाला स्थान चाहे देखिए ना वेरी लिटिल वर्क हैज बीन डन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑन द इश्यू ऑफ मेकिंग मनी फ्रॉम वेस्ट इंस्टेड इंडिविजुअल ऑर्गेन a prime example of this is Kalisisi.com, which has not just helped with solid waste management, but has also generated employment opportunities. The inability to take a hold on waste management has also adversely affected climate change. If these issues are left unaddressed, the climate change issues will escalate in near future. And now the news from the economic front. The Federation of Nepalese Chamber of Commerce and Industries says it needs support from Nepali ambassadors to Spain and Australia to improve the businesses in these countries. Welcoming the ambassador duo of Dawa Futi Sherpa and Mahesh Dahal to the Federation, the stakeholders called for the support to increase Nepali export to these nations. The Federation also requested the ambassadors to initiate investment in Nepal from both of these nations.
उठा दे पांगो ट्रेन में चाहिए बाहर जाने एम्बेस्टर्स अब लाइज़ है खाली ये वाला डिप्लोमेटिक रिलेशन में तो ना हो रहा है बल्कि कौसली ये वाला ट्रेड लाइज़ है हमने नेपाल रहते हैं जून देश में यार जान होते हैं तो ट्रेड लाइक कौसली कनेक्ट करने सकें जा कौसली ट्रेड बढ़ाने सकें जा र the Federation reaffirmed the active role the ambassadors can play to make a Visit Nepal 2020 campaign successful. The Federation also requested the ambassadors to pave the way for an easy B2B between Nepal and those two nations. Time for a short break here at Janata Bulletin. Stay tuned for international news. We are at the end of Janata Bulletin and the headlines once again. Prime Minister Oli, discharged from hospital, says he is fit despite undergoing dialysis. Attempt to rape case filed against Mahara, the former speaker can face a jail sentence up to eight years if convicted. FNCCI holds meeting with Nepal's ambassadors, seeks support from envoys to Spain and Australia. U.S. lawmakers secure enough votes against Trump, lower house set to pass impeachment rules. And England to face South Africa in a Rugby World Cup final tomorrow, Wales and New Zealand vying for third place. And that's all from the English News Desk for today. You can follow Janata Television on various social media platforms, including on our website, janatasamachar.com. Keep watching Janata Television. Namaste.